Hey, hey, another day, another dollar. Just wish I got paid more than a dollar a day. Yeah, cat's in my usual sorting spot, and I decided not to bother to move her. Hey, stupid. Run around, yeah. So, uh, yeah, sorting through cards, finding obscure stuff. Like our good friend, the Feldegriff. Purple flying hippo, whose name, if you rearrange the letters in it, starts, spells out Garfield PhD, a uh, homage to the creator of the game, Richard Garfield, who has a doctorate in mathematics. Yay! Found amongst my stuff a good sized stack of Portal 3 Kingdoms, uh, breaking with my usual habit of removing basic lands and putting them aside separately. I'm leaving the Portal Three Kingdoms basic lands with the Portal Three Kingdoms cards because it's just such an obscure set. I mean, I wish the set had come to the United States uh, normally rather than having to have been like imported through weird channels. <coughs> I mean, especially seeing as how like I've been playing the old Koei Romance of the Three Kingdoms games for ages upon ages, and then. They come out with a portal set based upon the exact same time period. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And then they don't bring it to the United States. And I'm like, you. Mm. But hey, these things happen. Stuff from all over the place here. Bits and pieces. And we have right here... The Chronicles reprints of the five Elder Dragons. Arcady Sabbath, Chromium, Nickel Bolus, Paladia Moors, and by Victus Asmati. And uh, for a lot of people, at least people that played back when I uh, was getting into the game, for a lot of people, the Chronicle reprints. Chronicles reprints of the Elder Dragons um, are one of the things that brought out the reserved list. For those that don't know, the reserved list is a list of cards that Wizards of the Coast promises to never reprint. And <clears throat> the reason why the reserved list originally came out, and cards have moved on to and off of the reserved list over the years, but the reason why the reserved list came to be is because when Chronic Chronicles came out, a lot of cards, specifically the Elder Dragons, dipped in value. I mean, there was a one, the <coughs> original Legends Elder Dragon, original Legends printing Elder Dragons, yeah, I can speak English, I really can, <coughs> used to go for somewhere in the neighborhood of like 25 bucks or more. After the Chronicles reprint, they went down to like five and people were upset <clears throat> and uh, yeah I mean it happens I mean there are a lot of people who I think we should get rid of the, that wizards should get rid of the uh, reserved list entirely and I'm not about to say that's a bad idea but I'm also going to say that there are a lot of cards that they should never ever reprint for example, the Power Nine. They were all ridiculously broken cards. They don't belong reprinting those. I mean, seriously. And there's and if they do reprint them, there's going to be a lot of collectors and dealers, especially dealers, who are going to be totally PO'd because suddenly that Black Lotus that, you know, they bought that they picked up and they were looking that they had a buyer lined up for suddenly that buyer doesn't want it anymore because it's like hey why should I pay <coughs> you know X amount of dollars for Black Lotus when I can get it here for significantly less and yeah I mean it's, it's gonna have you know whenever you reprint an old card especially an old card that was in demand it's going to affect the price and at least on the secondary market, and Wizards doesn't want to have to deal with the kind of, that kind of fallout again. I mean, could they go ahead and do it anyway if they really wanted to? Possibly. 
But because they've made the reserved list and they've acknowledged that their reprints sometimes have drastic effects on the secondary market, um, if they break with the reserve list, the list, they might actually be opening themselves up to lawsuits. And, you know, it's done. No change in that. So, as much as there are people that like to whine and hem and haw about the reserve list, and as much as I want to sit there and tell, as much as I want to sit there and tell them, just shut up, really. <coughs> You're not helping anything. I mean, I'm not going to say the reserve list is a good thing. On the reverse side of the coin, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing either. It is what it is, and it's not what it's not. I don't know, that's really specific, ain't it? But, um,. Yeah, my whole point on that being, though, is that, hey, if, whoops, knock some cards over, <coughs> I mean, if it means that much to you, I mean, it sucks, but, hey, you know, suck it up and drive on, because it ain't changing. You wanting it to change, don't make it so. Uh... Right there with someone who was like on message boards on Wizards is recently talking about how he wants to see some of the pre sixth edition rules come back, and I just look at that and I'm like, are you crazy? Those rules were so damn janky. They were cobbled together, badly cobbled together, and um, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't want to put up with, like, horrifyingly badly cobbled together rules like that again. I mean, if you do, that's great. More power to you. But, um, at some point or another, you got to sit there and think to yourself, gee, maybe there's a reason why, after 12 years, with the new rules paradigm, twice as long as we had the old one, that maybe, just maybe, the new rules might have actually been a good thing. Nah, that can't be so. I don't know. I don't know. I know I had some Urza sitting there. Oh, hey, wait a minute. That's dark. There's a pile of dark. <coughs> yeah, dark's not a set I have a lot from. Uh, yeah, I uh, sorted another box uh, deep in the night last night because I couldn't sleep and I was bored as hell. You know, found some handful of original legends. I don't even remember where I got them from. Hey, look at that, guys. Caracas. Yeah, I've got that and, like, my uh, sliver deck has literally hundreds of dollars worth of dual lands in it, which is kind of funny in and of itself, but... But, um, yeah, a hundred dollars worth of dual lands in my sliver deck. So, yeah, if you're ever in my neighborhood, guys, you know whose house to, like, rob if you're looking for expensive magic cards. I don't have a lot of the, I don't have, like, Alpha, Beta, I don't have Mox and Lotus, but... You should find my apartment at a time of the day when I'm not here. You best hope I don't find you because you have like made off with like a gold mine. That is, of course, if you could actually like you know carry all of this stuff down the three flights of stairs, you know, without like killing yourself. That's a lot of stuff. If you're gonna rob my apartment, bring a friend. Though, you know what, you might be better off just grabbing my TV instead. It's faster and easier. I don't believe I'm sitting here giving advice to people who are trying to rob my apartment. I don't know. I guess I'm the crazy one. I must be. Alright, I'm going to finish sorting this stuff away. Have a good one, guys.